Now, if you'd like a spotter's guide uh, that the station and planetarium have put together, just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to Spotter's Guide, KTBS-TV, P.O. Box 44227, Shreveport, that's zip 71134. If you live in... I'm shopping for my kids. One of them, Grant, is getting that pair of binoculars he's wanted to see Halley's with. Oh, you know, a lot of people have comet fever, especially yeah. since Halley's only comes around every 76 years or so. Well, joining us again today is our regular Friday guest, Mark Trotter, the head of Spar Planetarium. Now, Mark, is interest still high on Halley's? I definitely believe so, at least according to the calls I'm getting. I'm 24 hours, I'm living Halley's Comet, at least for the next few months, and uh, of course, this is once in a lifetime, so I'm going to make the best of it. Uh, still lots of interest in it, and of course, it's going to be getting greater as it gets brighter. Wonderful. What, what can, uh, you're the head of SPAR, what can people get at SPAR, the planetarium, that they can't get by looking through their own binoculars or telescopes? Well, the first thing we offer, of course, is our planetarium show, Comet Halley, once in a lifetime. Uh, that's an uh, educational experience. You can watch a TV show about Halley's Comet, but seeing it in the planetarium, on that dome is something totally different. And of course, also, we offer large telescopes that most people cannot afford on their own and offer them to the public almost every clear night. That's one thing. Now, Mark, you brought along a camera today, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Tell well, us about that. Just a regular old 35 millimeter camera. A lot of people ask me, how can I get a photograph of the comet? Unfortunately, they cannot go out with a disc camera and no. Instamatic and take a photograph of it. Uh, they need a 35 millimeter camera with an ability of holding the shutter open because to take a photograph of anything in space, you need to have a time exposure uh, from 30 seconds to sometimes 30 minutes. And to do that, you need to attach a cable release onto the shutter button on the camera, set the camera to infinity, and use fairly high speed film, somewhere between 400 speed and 1,000 speed film. It's really going to be up to the individual to experiment with different exposure times and different films. And the time to do that is now. So they can take photographs of the sky now, get a good idea of what their camera can do, and then in March and April, when Halley's at its brightest, they can get a good photograph to show to their grandchildren and say, I took this photograph, this is what I saw. Will you need a tripod for that, by the way? Definitely need a tripod, especially for something that long. There's no way to hold it yeah, with your own that would hands. Look no bad. way to do that. You need a very sturdy tripod to hold it on. and know a uh, little bit about the sky because the sky does move. Anything over about 30 seconds with an ordinary camera and an ordinary tripod, you're going to leave star trails. Anything longer than that, you need a camera attached to a telescope. That's a little bit more advanced than most people want to get right now, though. Okay, I've got to ask you where you look. Okay, right now, it's almost directly overhead about sunset. Okay. We get a, if we get clearing in the sky, we'll be able to see it later on tonight, maybe obviously tomorrow night if it clears up, and almost directly overhead south of the great square of Pegasus. There's a very faint patch of light in the sky. Still need a pair of binoculars or a telescope to see it well, but it is very faintly visible to the naked eye. Okay, okay. Mark. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. And if you want to know more about Halley's, we are offering a free and handy brochure on the comet. Here it is. Uh, it's spot sponsored by Channel 3 and SPAR Planetarium. has a lot of nice information. You can pick up a copy at the Planetarium or simply send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to KTBS-TV, 312 East Kings Highway. That zip code is 71104. Is tonight going to be the night to see it? Uh, probably.